What's up guys, Marcellus Williams, aka The Swolfesser, aka Aesthetic Pikachu, because you know I got the yellow shirt and the, the baby cute face, <laughs> no, but uh, seriously guys, here to educate you on health, fitness, and social well-being. Today's topic, progressive overload. I am the greatest. So in previous videos, I'm sure you've heard me mention the term progressive overload before. Today I'm going to be talking about exactly what that is and why it is the most vital, important, spectacular thing, necessary, that you will always, forever, under every circumstances need in order to build strength or gain muscle mass. Alright guys, so scientifically speaking, progressive overload is basically continuously providing stress on the body during exercise. In simple terms, it means that you want to be doing a little bit more than what you did last time every time you work out, whether that means that you're increasing reps or increasing weight. This is, like I said, the most important thing when it comes to building strength or muscle mass. If you do not progressively overload, you will not get stronger, your body will not change, no matter what. You can be doing everything else right, you can be going to the gym consistently, you can be eating like you're supposed to. If you do not progressively overload, your body will eventually adapt to what you're doing and will not grow. So basically, you know, to kind of break it down so you guys have a better understanding of what I'm talking about. Let's say you're on bench press and you're starting off with 135, so a 45 plate on each side of the bar, and you do three sets of 10. If let's say you get that three sets of 10, the next time you come into the gym, you're gonna wanna bump that weight up by at least, you know, five, maybe even 10 pounds if you're feeling confident. So instead of 135 for three sets of 10, you'll do 140 for three sets of 10. Or you could even do 135 for three sets of 12 instead of three sets of 10. The point is you want to gradually be increasing the workload that you're doing. Because if you don't, like I said, your body adapts. Technically, it only takes your body about three times to adapt to a certain stimulus. So let's say you come in, you bench 135 for three sets of 10. Then you come in and you do it again, three sets of 10. Let's say you came in the second time just because, you know, oh, my form felt a little bit off. So then you come in and you do it a third time, three sets of 10. After that, you're no longer providing your body with stimulus to grow or get stronger. So at that point, it's almost like walking. The best way I can put it is like this. Um, when a baby goes from crawling to walking, the baby actually does gain significant strength and muscle mass and its legs from doing that. Why? It's providing a new stimulus. It's carrying its entire body weight on its legs. Well, your legs don't grow much from walking now, do they? I can guarantee you that they do not. And the reason is your body adapts to the stimulus. It's used to carrying your body weight. So the same thing goes with any type of resistance exercise. You have to gradually increase your weight, your reps. It's the only way to provide stimulus for getting stronger. So this is why, guys, it's so vital that you keep track of what you're doing. You want to keep track of your progress so that you can da -da -da, progressively overload. See what I did there? No, that wasn't funny. But anyway, um, it's really important, guys, because regardless of if you're doing three sets of 10, four sets of 12, five sets of five, you always want to make sure you're doing a little bit more each time. So let's say you're doing five sets of five and you get five on the first four sets, but on that last set you only get three. That's okay. Obviously you're not going to increase the weight yet. Why? Because you didn't get five on all five sets. So your goal is to try to at least push out that one extra rep next time. So if you got, you know, four sets of five and one set of three, next time you want to shoot for, you know, four sets of five and one set of four. So you can keep building it up either through reps or weight, as I said. But that's really hard to do if you're not writing down everything you do. A lot of people get in this mindset of, oh, well, I'll just remember it. Look, if you're actually going in there and doing a fairly decent amount of exercises, it's hard to keep track of all those numbers. So just write it down. You can use a notebook, your phone, there's apps for it. You have no excuse not to be tracking your progress because it's that important. Now, with that being said, some of you may be wondering, well, I don't care at all about getting stronger. I'm just trying to change my body. Like I said, it doesn't matter. You have to progressively overload no matter what. Even like, you know, the most famous bodybuilders who will say things like, oh, I don't care about my max, I don't care about my strength, still have to gradually get stronger. Well, why? Because in order to make a muscle, you know, get bigger, it has to get stronger as well. The stronger you are, the more weight you can move. The more weight you can move, the better you can, you know, define that muscle, increase the growth potential in that muscle. So it doesn't matter what your goals are as far as training. Heck, it, this even applies to things like cardio like you know say you run a mile in eight minutes and you're trying to get your you know your cardiovascular endurance up then you want to be able to get that time cut down so maybe next time you try to run it in you know seven minutes and 50 seconds seven minutes and 40 seconds progressive overload applies to anything when it comes to exercise training if you want to see any type of growth or benefit in any type of training related to exercise 
you have to progressively overload. So it's a simple concept, guys. This isn't that long of a video, but it's important. And I really wanted to beat this into your heads. You have to do it. You don't have a choice. You have to do it. It's more important than anything else, period. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. You now understand the most important concept for making uh, the gains. So now that you do, make sure you do it. I don't want to hear any excuses, but if you guys have any questions, you know, you need a more in-depth understanding, you already know, leave a comment down below, like and subscribe, subscribe, and most importantly, keep it simple, specific, scientific. I'll catch you guys later. I am the greatest. Come on, look power! Come on, look power! Come on, look there!